If you work in Google Workspace and need to provide regular currency conversions, then this add-on is for you. Get the most recent rates and convert them for you to copy and paste into your Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Slides, Docs, or Google Sheets without leaving your page. Exchange rates are updated daily, Monday to Friday. Currency Converter also provides an extensive list of over 30 currencies and countries for you to exchange from. So how does it all work? Well, it's simple. After you installed Currency Converter, you'll note that the symbol for the Currency Converter is on the right-hand side, Google Workspace add-on, and click it to open it up. It'll load with the latest currencies, and then you can choose the from currency. So for example, USD, you can either scroll up and down or just type it in, USD, and select. And then you can type in the amount. If you want to keep it as one, you can leave it as one. Or, for example, in our example, let's do a payment. So we'll say 2,384 and 43 cents. And then we can send it to. So USD, let's send it to, to euros. Here you are. And click. And then simply hit submit. After it's submitted, you'll see the result underneath the submit button here, and along with the exchange rates from the currency to the currency and vice versa. So to get this into my email, all I need to do is to quickly select the exchange and copy with control C. And let's put this in just here with a control shift and V, or you can right click and you can pay special. Now you might also want the dollar or the, the one US dollar to what it's worth in euro and one euro to what it's worth in US dollars. You can copy that as well if you like. So control C there and hit enter and paste it in. And now you have a currency conversion right inside your document. Now you might want a particular type of result or a display a result in a particular fashion. You can actually change the result type or the format of the result by clicking this down arrow here, which will expand into a list of options. So from here, I have a list of formats that I can use that I can change, currency symbol, or we can choose the locale. Now, the locale is the country or region from which you might be from or your customer or client might be from, and it might be easier for it to read for them. So changing the locale can be important because in some countries, for example, in France, as a decimal, they use a comma instead. Uh, so you might want to change that to make it easier for your client or customer to read. So let's make some changes here. So let's uh, try this one. And then we will add our symbol in this time. and let's change this to, well, we said it, so France. So French, French, France right here. And we'll make our currency from USD to British pound. And then we'll hit submit. And you can see here now that the format of the results has changed and allows you to now control C to copy in. And then we can put Right next to this is here, control shift V to paste, and then we've got the full currency amount. You can see the pounds been put in place and the dollar sign is there as well. Now, if you think you're going to use the exchange rate from USD to British pounds all the time, and you like this format that you and you'll use it regularly, so you can set that to the format there. We'll keep this locale the same, and then we can save this selection as default. So by saving this selection as default, it allows you to the next time you open up Currency Converter, it's all set up exactly how you want it, ready to use straight away without having to fuss around with these extra exceptions. Once you're done with these advanced uh, selections, you can close this box here and you are good to go. Now, if you need a little bit of help or feedback, up in the top ellipses here is a list of links that can take you to feedback or instructions. So for example, if you need further instructions on this or want to follow this video, you can click here and we'll provide you with a link and you can click any one of these, these links and they'll take you down to the area that you're looking for. And finally, I'm always interested in your feedback and what you suggest to make Currency Converter better or help you in your business day to day. So you can always click the ellipses here and provide me some great feedback in this feedback form here that I'll send off to me and I promise I'll read it. And, uh, and if I can do it, I'll try and make it, uh, make it for you so you've got a great product in your hand.
I hope you enjoy using Currency Converter and most importantly, I hope it saves you a bunch of time in your workday um, to make your life a little bit easier. Until next time.